Hi, this is Makar and today I would like to talk about um, the eastern Ukrainian city called Kreminna. It's in Luhansk region um, and it's very important uh, to talk about this town because most likely the next Ukrainian counteroffensive will be in towards this town, this city. Um, Ukrainian army is already advancing um, in the last week. Uh, it's basically within three to four miles from this town. And in this video, I would like to talk about why specifically this town is so important for both Ukraine and Russia. Hopefully you're gonna like it and uh, uh, click on like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. So let's go. Recapturing Crimea in eastern Ukraine would be a step further in Ukraine's campaign to retake major cities that Russia seized after it invaded. Combat raged uh, around the city of Crimea in eastern Ukraine on Tuesday, uh, the week of Christmas, as Ukrainian forces aged closer to reclaiming that small but strategically important city, while the Russians battled to defend some of their hardest fought gains of the war. Kremina is a gateway to two much lar larger cities nearby, Severodonetsk and Lysychansk, important industrial centers in the Donbass region that fell to Russia after the grueling and costly summer campaign. President Vladimir Putin of Russia has called conquering and annexing the Donbass the heart of the war effort. Since enduring a series of humiliating retreats, the Russian military has fortified its lines near Kremina, with a series of defensive barriers, parts of it efforts to solidar uh, solidify its positions up and down an aged front uh, that stretches for hundreds of miles. Retaking the city of the, uh, and the other towns nearby would expand the Ukrainians' foothold in the region and give them the control of major roads leading to Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. The situation uh, there is difficult, acute, President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine said of Krumina and other uh, areas in eastern Ukraine in his nightly address late Monday last week. The occupiers are using all the resources available to, to them, and these are significant resources, to squeeze out uh, at least some advance. Sergei Haidai, the Ukrainian uh, regional governor of Luhansk province, uh, said on Monday that in response to the military pressure, Part of Russian command in Krimina had uh, to withdraw uh, to the town of Rubizhna, a few miles to uh, the southeast, although it was not possible to verify the claim. The Russians understand that if they lose Krimina, their entire line of defense will, uh, will fall, he said in the Telegram post on Tuesday. Vitaly Kiselev, uh, a Russian-backed official in occupied Luhansk, said on Russian state television on Monday that the situation around Krimina and another small uh, city nearby Svatova re uh, remained very tense. The Ukrainian counterattack in the east comes to, uh, the country's battered economy shows new signs of the uh, war toll, uh, leaving it um, ever more dependent on Western, Western aid. The Ukrainian government has struggled to raise money on bond markets unable to roll over debt accumulated before Russia invaded in the late February. And since then, uh, has paid investors about 2.2 billion more uh, than it collected in bond sales, the central bank said. Overall, uh, Ukraine's economy is projected to shrink about 40% this year, as uh, the year 2022. Uh, as Russia occupies about the fifth of its territory, hammers its cities with cruise missiles, and batters critical infrastructure uh, like steel, manufacturing, and ag agriculture. All of that has left Ukrainian uh, public uh, finance, which has been wobbly at the best times during three decades of independence, deeply reliant on assistance from the United States, the European Union, European countries that donate individually, and other donors. The International Monetary Fund, which bailed out Ukraine through a long run of post-independence financial crisis, has not continued large-scale lending during the war. Uh, beginning of the quote, if the IMF is worried about debt uh, sustainability and ability to finance, imagine what private investors are thinking, end of quote, said 
said Timothy Milovanov, a former economy uh, minister who is a professor at the Kiev School of Economics. Russia, Russia's economy uh, has also suffered over the uh, 10 months of war, uh, though it has not collapsed under the pressure of uh, punishing Western sanctions. This week, the week of New Year, Russian and Ukrainian leaders again suggested that they were open to peace talks, but only on terms that were dismissed by, the, by their counterparts. Ukraine's foreign minister Dmitry Kuleba said that his government wanted a peace summit meditated by the United Nations, but that Russia could not be invited until it faced war crimes prosecutions. Mr. Putin said he was willing to negotiate, but days earlier he re uh, restated a determination to keep fighting, and he has insisted that lands captured by his forces must remain Russia, Russian forever. On Tuesday last week, Mr. Putin showed no sign that he expected the war or uh, uh, any relations with the, the West to soon abate. He met with the president of Belarus, raising concerns that he would use that nation again to launch an attack on Ukraine. And he signed a long-expected decree that banned sales of oil to nations that imposed a price cap on Russian oil. The European Union and its members, the United States, Britain, Japan, Canada and Australia. Uh, in the absence of di uh, diplomacy, Ukraine uh, and Russia's militaries have been struggling against uh, each other and muddly winter weather so uh, to seize more ground and uh, entrench what they uh, hold. Ukraine's campaign to recapture Crimea began uh, in the fall and its forces finished sweeping through the country's uh, northeastern Kharkiv region and turned south to focus on Luhansk which was almost entirely under Russian control. Since then, the sides have fought a series of battles and artillery duels over the highways and villages around Krimina and Svatova. Russian forces took over both places not long after their full-scale invasion began and have, and have severed uh, pontoon bridges over the river and built layers uh, of defensive lines to shore up the, the front. Ukraine and Russia also uh, locked in fighting hundreds of miles to the southwest in Kherson region, where Ukrainian forces pushed Russian troops out of the capital city, but the Kremlin still controls a large swath uh, of territory. A Russian artillery strike damaged, uh, a strike damaged the kindergarten infrastructure and emergency medical, uh, medical aid stations uh, in Kherson last week. Although no casual casualties were reported, the regional governor Yaroslav Yanushevich said on Telegram. Since he took overall command of Russian, uh, Russia's war uh, effort in October, General Sergei Sorovikin has sought uh, to rally Russian troops uh, from their series of uh, defeats this fall. He pulled Russian troops out of the city of Kherson in an organized retreat and has made efforts to uh, conserve Russian artillery supplies and reconstitute units, analysts says. After lo losing the city of Kherson and suffering other setbacks in the region, Russia has been uh, regrouping and reinforcing its troops in northern Luhansk for an offensive that would aim to extend its control in the region. According to the Institute of, uh, for the Study of War, a Washington-based research group. To, the, uh, to that end, the Institute said Russia is prioritizing mobilizing troops to defend Crimea and Svatova over operations in, the, in other parts in eastern Ukraine. The Institute uh, cited Ukrainian military reports of uh, increased Russian movements of troops, military equipment and uh, ammunition in the area. It said, however, that Russian, uh, Russian success in, in the short term appealed and likely given, to, uh, given the difficult terrain and um, the very limited offensive capabilities of Moscow, uh, Moscow's forces after months of heavy losses. Though a draft uh, in the fall provided Russia with hundreds of thousands of thoroughly needed troops, uh, artillery heavy warfare has uh, depleted its best trained units and uh, strained its supplies. Ukraine also faces serious supply problems, analysts say, especially and uh, as is uh, its Western supporters themselves start to run through their stockpiles. Uh, beginning of the quote. 
Ukrainian artillery use uh, conservatively, uh, it's probably around maybe 90,000 rounds per month. Michael Kaufman, the director of Russian studies at CNA said. War on the Rod, uh, Rocks podcast said that uh, that's uh, a lot of more than anybody makes in the West uh, right now. So all of this has been coming out of stocks, which is likely go uh, like which is like going through uh, your saving accounts. He added that Ukrainian leaders were, beginning of the quote, willing to say what it takes to get uh, the assistance they need, end of quote, for beating Russian forces back. I don't blame them. They, uh, their war efforts uh, hing, uh, hinging, hinges on external material support. That's basically it. Okay, that's the end of this video uh, about Crimea now. If you did like it or didn't like it, please click on like or dislike um, in the bottom of this video. As well, if you haven't subscribed um, uh, to my channel uh, yet, please do. Um, I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much and have a nice day.